for Ohio State, sitting at a 4-5-6 ERA, 5-4 win loss in 17 appearances and 51 in a third innings pitched. That one in the air to left, going to drop right in front of Cordelletti, and it's a leadoff single for Matty Gordon in their bottom of the first. And then went silent until the third inning where they put up one more. It's a bunt into the infield. Who's going to get it? No one is. Easily as they can. They've already been delayed once. Showing bunt again. That's caught by Ruck. Great play out of the circle for out number one. Two and two to Garcia. Just off the end of the bat. Past the outstretch arms of Farley. And the plate, the plate, not close. Gordon will slide in underneath it, and Penn State takes the early lead. A great attempted throw in right field from Heckman, but just off the mark. So now count is 2-2 two, two to Brunson. That'll be popped up in the infield. Bump will call everyone off, and that's out number two. He's already at 15-plus pitches. This will be number 17 in the air to right. Heckman's got it, and that will end the inning. Down to the final strike at one point in the fourth. That's a strikeout looking against Cordelletti. Strike three. Gets one looking, now gets one swinging, and quickly two away coming into today. One's going to be a chopper back to Namus. She's got some trouble with it. Quarter cracks will stay at first. Defensively and all conference. One is a looper to right field. A diving catch from Brunson. Great play from the Nittany. Bring up Paletti. Showing bunt. No one was covering first. Campaign. 1-1 one, one bunt. It's going to be bump. Great play from her and good coverage in the infield from the Buckeyes. Burns soccer in the fall. There's a possibility she's going to shoot one right up the middle for a base hit. Runner on its way home. The throw. They got Mendoza. What a throw from Epley. Saves a runner. Good stop from Burns in the 0-1. Throw down to second. Just underneath the tag is Barbanente. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Runner on second, top of the second inning. Big cut and miss. That'll end the inning. She's bumping all around. Otsu backside to left field. Barbanente makes the catch on the run. Amith comes set in the 0-2. That one's through the hole. Throw to first. Not going to be in time, so a single for Jazzy Burns. Big cut and miss. Great pitch from Namath. That one's on the ground. Just past the glove of Gordon. It continues to move forward. Been a couple hours in between those two. Big cut and miss again. This could be our last game and, and enjoy it above all else. Maddox wow, to right hit. field. That one's going to one hop off the grass. Throw in from second from Heckman. It's a sliding double for Maddox. I think at times I have a lot of thoughts. Oh, good stop. Good stop from Bump. Throw it over. Just in time. Great wow. play. Good throw. Moments like that are tough because you bobble the ball, but you have to understand you're less difficult. Um, so, yeah, I was just super thankful I got to do it. One, two from Ruck. Big cut and miss. Good pitch. It's on number two. Wouldn't pitch, pick basketball. I think at my height, I would have to work so much harder to be where I wanted to be. Great play nice. from quarter Good, cracks. Good job. That'll end the inning. Uh, it's hard to express that on TV. Like, it's easy to see somebody get dunked on or hit 400, a ball 450 feet. But I think Olympic volleyball, 
on the ground. Him. Nice the simple play. That's a nice sound. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> Everybody gets riled up. Same thing. If you you're going up against somebody, and they're swinging that hard, nice grab on the ground to Paletti. Sound number two. Um, if you're going up to block something for you to perfectly pass it, is just so satisfying. Great rip down the line. Cami to the corner. She turns the corner, headed for second. Throw cut off. Aggressive, I like it. A sliding double for quarter cracks. I know Sam Hackenbrack is one of the heavier hitters on the team. My go-to is definitely some off speed. <laughs> In the infield. I think. Off speed, pop to the first baseman. I, everybody in. We like to talk to broadcasters, photographers, other athletes. Good Through hitter. the hole, a chopping single for Morrison. But um, yeah. one, two, off the end of the bat to center. That please got it. Down. Good track. Out number one. Bus trips these days that are eight hours one way. Check swing. They peeled down to first. Tom Meyer says she went, so strikeout. Well, they stick third base side heavy. 0-2. Oh, Big swing and miss. Great pitch from Ruck in an even better inning. Yeah, we do practice that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I hear that. On the ground to Gordon. Good backhand stop. That's out number one. But within volleyball, yes. I don't think we really. 3-2 in the air to right. Good catch. Catch from Brunson for out number two. Uh, Is a pitch clock violation. It's two and two. You don't see those very often. No, not at all. Big cut and miss on two, two to end the inning or whatever. I definitely like a good balance of both. I think when I'm watching, I appreciate really good defense. Quarter cracks. More. Good scoop. Good pick from Nori. Their responsibilities and what they have to do. That impresses me so much because to my point, Nice easy pop up. Nice catch from Epley. Because to my point earlier, everybody's what happens. We don't get distracted by the emotion of it. Good rip down the third base line. 2-2 two -two down the line is fair. Into the corner, Cordelletti will be cut off by quarter cracks. Diving double for Jones. Importance of being focused regardless on the other side. But nice pop up. In the infield. Easy catch from Farley to end the inning. The problem in the Big Ten for hopefully a long time, and I'll be excited to see how her game changes and evolves over the years. As you get put in tougher situations throughout college, you, you become a little bit more emotionally mature. What have you learned from your time as a freshman? As that bunt is going to go down the line, it's actually going to hit Cordelletti, so she will be out. That's out number two. I don't know if you knew that that was a rule or not. I if, did not. If you bunt. Of mental health and being in the right frame of mind, it's very easy to get caught up in your mistakes and people being disappointed in you and, you know, th this and has been just a, a, a great point of contact. In the air down the line. Good catch. Great catch from Cordelletti. Has been a, a great point of contact to, for countless athletes. 3-0 strike to Morrison. It'll be a 3-1 count. Ruck's still out there. 91 pitches so far in this one. Just misses the inner part of the zone. And, you know, what happened to me or, you know, what was given to me, I have to pass on. To me, pop up. Nice catch. Um, Easy catch for Farley. To round out my leadership style because I've been on a lot of teams where we just love to play hard. And that was it. Foul tip but caught. Great catch behind the dish from Jazzy Burns. 75 pitches, this being the 75th. And the one-two to quarter cracks on the ground, off the glove of Morrison. Lead-off single for Cammy. Of course, I will never have as in-depth of conversations as you have, but you can somewhat tell he's all about action as that one's lifted into center. Catch ranging back from Jones. Got to give Papa Pasture some credit. Shout out work. to our good hit. In the Hi. air, left field. Oh, into the wall. Barbanette can't make the play. Quarter cracks thought it was going to be caught, so it's just a single. That's, that's a tough position to be in as a runner. So he has that mental fortitude. Big cut and miss. Incredible pitch from Namath.
That one's on the ground and through. This will be a huge run for Ohio State. Coming around, quarter crack scores. Tie game. Actually, they put Lamone out there as a pinch runner. That was Skyler Lamone running early. That one big hit you talked about, there it is. There's one of them. Curious to see how Penn State reacts. It'll be very easy. If Ohio State scores one more here, they just need three outs, and they sweep the midweek series. Big cut and miss at the dive ball. Nymeth is still working deep, but Ohio State ties it with a single. Going to the seventh, even at one apiece. If there ever plays like that when you play where you know immediately that if you go look at the scoring card, that could be a make or break play? All the time. I, especially in my sport of volleyball, I think about it most, and, but also realize that six people out there, you know? Wow, good. Great grab play. from quarter cracks. Double play. Fence just over the precipice. Give me a looper into center. Epley! Incredible! Defense this inning has been on the mountaintop. Taylor Heckman to try to send the Buckeye faithful home happy, and they will start it off with a single. A good start. Tegan Cordelletti. Well, to set in volleyball, when you're up in the air, that, that half second you could make a change. If you catch somebody sleeping, you switch your wrist, it's going to be a safety squeeze to sacrifice over a bang, bang play. Wow. That was a close one as well, but a 2-2 two -two over the jump of Matic. Here's the throw. What a throw. Fantastic. Barbonente keeps this one alive. I like the aggressiveness by Ohio State. It wasn't that close of a play at the plate, but having the idea that the runners need to be ready to go and attacking that plate is, is crucial. Lamone, the pinch runner for her, came around to score. Cammy to center. That's going to do it. Walk off, quarter cracks. Buckeyes win them both. There's that leading by example. I know Ohio State is thrilled to be treating Penn State the way they just did. from nobody better. What can't she do? Ohio State, who would have thought after a high scoring affair in game one where it was 16 to eight and six, the Buckeyes walk it off two to one. Bottom of the seven. So for everyone here at Big Ten, plus for our entire crew, this is fun to say for Jacob Pasture. Yes.